Okay, so I've asked this question. Uh, this person really likes to be in the observer, but when he's busy, he forgets to be in the observer. And uh, that's the thing of um, this, there's certain payoff of being in the world. Uh, the payoff can be like survival. Uh, and there's different levels of consciousness as well. Like uh, a, a nice level of consciousness is unconditional love and service, uh, which can seem quite busy. Uh, so it's like, uh, can I be of service in this place, in that place, in my work, with my family? And it's really, really, uh, and the ego, and that's quite a high vibration, you know, just to be busy trying to be of service everywhere you go. That's a high vibration. However, it's not quite the same as self-inquiry, which is no thought and to be in the silence. So as you advance as a spiritual student, uh, you, often um, some of the higher levels of spiritual vibration are of being of service, helping the poor, the needy, or helping people who are stuck in addiction or whatever it is. Um, and um, so that's a great level, but you're still, you're sort of, uh, the head's still active trying to serve people. So the observe then comes a point, usually if you want to transition from being in the head, being of service, which is a high, it's a good vibration to the observer, usually then comes a certain point. Now, sometimes you might not be able to let go. Maybe that you've got some responsibilities, which mean that you, it doesn't seem like the right thing to do to be willing to let go of the busyness. Like, you know, you've got to, fit, you've got to look after your kids because they're under 16 or whatever it is, and so you've got, to earn a, you've got to earn a job and you've got to be mentally active and be worried about the kids, whatever it is. So at a certain point, though, it's like uh, you decide whether you want to um, sacrifice the busyness. Now, it, you, you'll have to pray and meditate to see if this is appropriate. I mean, sometimes it may mean leaving work, leaving things, or it means going to work and being okay with not being able to function at the same level as you used to. Because when you're in the observer, it's like, uh, you see, the more you're in the world, the more you track or identify with the world. So you're identifying with the thoughts to be functional in the world, to do chores or things or, or run according to certain core beliefs. Uh, in the world, that can be a high vibration. But when you're, when you want to be in silence all the time and be the witnesser of thoughts, then it's almost like a deeper commitment to surrender. So you're allowing yourself to be in silence. And if the if the if the mouth speaks, it speaks. If it doesn't speak, it doesn't speak. Uh, if um, if you, if uh, there's a loss of a, a job because you're not so you're not the same person you were before then there's a loss of a job you see so it, it, these things become irrelevant so the ego's pull to be busy um is really so you ask yourself you know and i'm not saying it's the right thing to do to to let go of everything in the world um you can you can practice the observer of being in silence and stillness you see like uh the only thing is that uh, people will probably notice that you're more, um, now, I mean, it depends. Sometimes you can go into the silence and it can operate very, very smoothly. And you're not, the, it's almost like you're at work, but you're not there and nothing is remembered and yet everything goes well. Or it can be like uh, people will say, you, you're not there today. You were sp speaking a lot of rubbish and we, we're not sure that you were present. So, but then that's, you know, every jump in consciousness, you have to be willing to go through a certain fear that the ego is, un, you know, the, at e when you go to a higher level, the, there's always a fear of letting go to a deeper level. You know, I might lose my job. People might think I'm stupid. Um, you know, I might lose my family. Um, people, you know, all kinds of things can happen. So, um and then that's the price that has to be paid. Now, sometimes it's not the right timing to let go at that level. I mean, there, there are more easier ways. You can, you can um, sometimes if there's a yearning to go more into silence, it can sometimes mean changing the type of work. Some types of work 
or family commitments or, or relationships are more conducive. If you're in a monastery where everyone's just chanting on all the time, uh, being in the observer is not going to be a big problem usually. Uh, if you're in like, uh, if you've got a job as an airplane controller, <laughs> it might not be the best job, you see, to be in the observer, you see, because you're, you're, you're um, so if the world's an illusion, um, if you, if you go to the observer of the thoughts and the observer of the world, and then you go to the, the observer of the observer, which doesn't identify with the world or doesn't identify with thoughts, where there is no world, you know, you're getting close to leaving this place into the infinite light. So again, um, you know, these are all different stages of, um, hold on, someone not on mute, someone new come into the room. Let's have a look. Um, da -da -da. Everyone's on mute. Yeah. So, um, so it's like um, each level. So you have to decide whether you're willing if it's the right timing to go to a deeper level. You can practice, you can do it more slowly. Um, you can just um, pray for willingness or um, go with the intention into the places you go to where you're busy and just go, it's more important for you to be in silence than to be busy. Uh, so it's like, busyness is like you're getting a payoff of being in the world and, uh, you know, I'm going to do 300 things today. I'm going to help 300 people and talk to 300 people. And my day is busy doing spiritual stuff. Whereas, um, so that's almost identifying with the world and identifying with thought. You know, I'm not saying it's bad. But if it's like more important to be disidentified with the world and the thoughts, then uh, it's, it's kind of irrelevant what's going to happen with the whether the body goes anywhere or the, any thoughts happen or the, any words are spoken. Uh, it, it's, it, it's, not, it's less important than being in that silence. So being in the silence or being in the witnesser of thoughts, even more than the witnesser of thoughts, you know, here's a thing I was going to say on addiction to thoughts is that, um, you see, if you're in the, if you're in the observer, which had, which is not interested in thoughts, there are no thoughts. You see, the, like you can be the observer of the table where you're observing the table, and you can be the this side. Uh, you can be the detached observer where there is no table witnessed. It is just so uninteresting that there is no table. So, um, so again, there's different levels. Um, Hawkins had an expression to be in the world but not of the world. So it's almost like there's not, nobody there. there. There's just silence there. If someone talks, there's no one who's talking. Uh, the, 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 you know, it's just coming out of emptiness all the time. So um, those are the things. It just, you just have to look at the payoff and see if you're willing to go to the next level. Simple things you can do are just like praying for willingness to be in the observer. It's more important than being busy. That actually is similar to another question I was going to answer, so I'll, I'll end it on that one. Yeah, I'll press stop now. Uh, hold on. Uh, stop this recording.